Okay, now let us discuss about mock questions from Anatomy of Respiratory System Part 2. In the current session, we will be discussing the questions from Anatomy of Larynx, Trachea and Lungs. Coming to the first question, which part of the body is called as Adam's apple? We are familiar with the term Adam's apple and which part of the body is called as Adam's apple? The answer is thyroid cartilage, not thyroid gland. Thyroid cartilage of larynx is called as Adam's apple. Here you can see this is the diagram of the thyroid cartilage. This is the cartilage which gives the triangular shape to the larynx. Adam's apple is responsible for the triangular shape of the larynx. And the part of the body which is called as Adam's apple is thyroid cartilage of larynx. Option is A. The wall of the larynx is composed of how many pieces of cartilage? How many pieces of cartilage are present in the wall of the larynx? There are nine. Nine pieces of cartilage. Three cartilages occur singly. Three occur singly. Thyroid cartilage, epiglottis and cricoid cartilage. There is only one epiglottis and one thyroid cartilage and one cricoid. This one, the cricoid cartilage, they occur singly. That is one each. So here three. And three occur in pairs. That means two arachinoid cartilages, two cuneiform cartilages and two corniculate cartilages. So total 6 plus 3, 9. There are 9 pieces of cartilage in the wall of the larynx. Here you can see this is the epiglottis. This is cuneiform cartilage. There are, there are 2 cuneiform cartilages and also 2 corniculate two corniculate cartilages and two arachnoid cartilages and one epiglottis, one cricoid cartilage and one thyroid cartilage. Which part of the body is the landmark for performing emergency airway called as tracheostomy? So which part of the body is the landmark for performing the tracheostomy? The answer is cricoid cartilage. If there is obstruction of air, if the obstruction is above the level of the larynx, a tracheotomy, otomy means opening or incision, otomy means incision, it is also called as tracheostomy, tracheotomy can also be called as ostomy, ostomy means artificial opening, otomy means incision. Is a skin incision that is followed by a short longitudinal incision into the trachea below the required cartilage. Then, through that incision, a tracheal tube is inserted to create an emergency air passageway. So, the landmark for performing emergency tracheotomy is cricoid cartilage. They will make an incision at the cricoid cartilage. Which pair of folds of larynx? We know that larynx is called as voice box. And which pair of folds of larynx are called as False vocal cords. Larynx has two pairs of folds of larynx. False vocal cords and true vocal cords. And the vestibular folds are called as false vocal cords. In this diagram you can see these things. The vestibular fold under it in the bracket you can find false vocal cord. And below it these white ones are vocal folds. Vestibular folds are called as false vocal cord and vocal folds are called as true vocal cord. So the question is which pair of folds of larynx are called as false vocal cords? And the answer is vestibular folds. The vestibular folds are called as false vocal cords whereas the vocal folds are called as true vocal cords. Which part of the body is called as windpipe? The answer is trachea. Trachea is called as the windpipe, whereas pharynx is called as throat. The next question is, how many lobe does, lobes does right lung have? So, right lung has three lobes. This is the right lung. One, two, three. 
right lung has three lobes and left lung has two lobes. This is important point to remember, especially when we are coding lobectomies and pneumonectomy. When two lobes of a right lung are removed, you term it as bilobectomy. And when two lobes of a left lung are removed, you call, that, call it as pneumonectomy. Because here, when, when the two lobes of the left lung are removed, an entire lung is removed. So the entire removal of an entire lung is called as pneumonectomy. Whereas simply removal of a lobe is called as lobectomy. Especially when performing the lobectomies and pneumonectomy, you need to be thorough with the number of lobes on each side. So right lung has three lobes and left lung has two lobes. This is important. How many lobes does the right lung have? The answer is three. And the left lung has two lobes. Next question. The point where trachea divides into right and left bronchi is called. The point where trachea divides into right and left bronchi is called carina. Carina is the point where trachea divides into right and left bronchi. What is pneumothorax? We know that pneumo means air or breath. Thorax means chest. So, pneumothorax is air filled in pleural cavities. Air filled in pleural cavities. Here we will see, in certain conditions, the pleural cavities may fill with air. That is the name pneumothorax. Pneumo means air or breath. And when if blood, if blood is filled, it is called as hemothorax. If the blood is filled in, Pleural cavities, the condition is called as hemothorax. Whenever air is filled in pleural cavities, the condition is called as pneumothorax. Whenever the air in the pleural cavities, it is most commonly introduced in a surgical opening. Whenever the person undergoes any operation and because of the surgical opening, air may be introduced into the pleural cavity or as a result of stab or gunshot wound. And because of this pneumothorax, this may cause the lungs to collapse. And this collapse of a part of lung or rare, rarely an entire lung is called as atelectasis. Pneumothorax in severe cases can cause atelecta atelectasis. It is nothing but ateles. A-T-E-L-E-S means incomplete. Ectasis means expansion or dilation. Ectasis means expansion or dilation. So, atelectasis is nothing but incomplete expansion or dilation. The failure of a lung to expand completely or to dilate completely is called as atelectasis. So, pneumothorax can lead to atelectasis. And the goal of the treatment of the pneumothorax is evacuation of the air from the pleural space, which allows the lung to reinflate. And generally, a small pneumothorax may resolve on its own, but it is often necessary to insert a chest tube to assist in evacuation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.